OSIRIS-REx spacecraft renamed OSIRIS Apex. A new mission to another asteroid. On Sunday, September 24, the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft launched a capsule containing valuable dust and rock samples from the asteroid Bennu towards Earth. The probe was then at a distance of 102,000 kilometers from the planet's surface. The capsule with valuable cargo entered the atmosphere at a speed of 44,500 kilometers per hour at an altitude of approximately 133 kilometers. Within 10 minutes, she landed at a military training ground in the U.S., from where she was taken to a laboratory. After delivering the samples, the probe continued its journey to meet the asteroid Apophis. Apophis is a space rock with a diameter of over 360 meters which in five years will be only 32,000 meters away. Kilometers from Earth. This is more than 10 times closer than the average distance of the Moon from our planet. Even closer than the satellites orbiting the globe. The asteroid was named after the Egyptian god of chaos and darkness. The asteroid Apophis is completely different from Bennu. Bennu is a C-type asteroid, i.e. one whose composition is dominated by carbon. Apophis, on the other hand, is an S-type asteroid. These pieces of rock are characterized by the presence of large amounts of silicon and silicates, iron and nickel. They are rather stone, solid objects. S-type asteroids are not as numerous as C-type ones, but there are still a lot of them in the solar system. They are believed to be relics from the formation of our planetary system. Until recently, it was believed that there was a high risk of Apophis hitting Earth in 2068. Currently, it is no longer considered a threat, but its research may provide valuable information about the properties of various types of asteroids orbiting the solar system, which may translate into better defense against a possible impact of a similar object on Earth. This is extremely interesting from a scientific point of view and from the point of view of Earth protection. Although Apophis is not dangerous, we expect it to be very similar to other NEOs, near-Earth objects, objects whose orbits pass close to our planet, that could collide with Earth, said Olivier Hainaut an astronomer at ONEO at the European Southern Observatory, ESO. But the asteroid may not be what it seems. As was the case with Bennu. The probe, still called OSIRIS-REx, discovered that Bennu's subsurface layer consists of weakly bonded rock fragments and contains many empty spaces, more in the text, the Bennu asteroid is not what it seemed. New discoveries thanks to data from the OSIRIS mission Rex. And what is Apophis really? We will only find out when the OSIRIS Apex mission completes its planned tasks. Apophis is one of the most infamous asteroids, C-1.
said Danny Della Justina, a researcher on the mission renamed Osiris Apex. When it was discovered in 2004, there were fears that it would hit Earth in 2029, during its close approach. After subsequent observations, this risk was ruled out. But it will be the closest passage of a space rock of this size to Earth in about 50 years of close asteroid tracking, she added. During its close approach in 2029, Apophis will approach approximately one-tenth the distance between Earth and the Moon. People in Europe and Africa will be able to see it with the naked eye, Della Justina added. The journey to your new destination will be a bit confusing. Along the way, the probe will find itself much closer to the Sun than originally planned. Passing within the orbit of Venus several times and revisiting Earth, ultimately enabling a rendezvous with Apophis. According to the plan, it is scheduled to reach its destination on April 8, 2029. Five days later, one hour after the Apophis asteroid's close approach to Earth, Osiris Apex will use the planet's gravity to enter orbit around the asteroid and approach it. However, the probe will not be able to collect samples. The equipment used in the OSIRIS-REx mission flew to Earth along with a capsule with material from the Bennu asteroid. The probe will try to examine this piece of rock in a different way. It will perform a maneuver similar to the one used in the Bennu sample collection mission. The spacecraft will approach Apophis and use its engine nozzles to raise dust and small rocks from its surface, allowing them to study their composition and properties. Additionally, the asteroid will be imaged and mapped. Observing Apophis during and after its close approach to Earth will allow scientists to see if there are any shifts in its orbit due to Earth's gravitational influence that could affect the likelihood of hitting our planet in the future. Scientists will also pay close attention to any changes on the asteroid's surface and the way it rotates. Apophis's structure and surface strength have critical implications for planetary defense.